Hey everybody, so I just got back from a business trip, so I'm a little frazzled and a little jet lagged. Um, haven't shaved in a couple days, so I'm all kind of gross and scruffy. Uh, but I wanted to do this unboxing uh, even before I take care of all, and all of that stuff, because this is sort of a special unboxing. Uh, so, a few weeks ago, I joined a live stream run by Josh of the Movie Timelines YouTube channel. Uh, and I won the, the horror movie trivia that he was having. Um, it came down to a tiebreaker question, and I got it faster than uh, the second runner-up, uh, Bryce Coaster, did. So my prize was a giant coffee pack of things from Don Francisco's Coffee. So I am going to open this up and see what kind of coffee goodies I got uh, as my uh, as my trivia prize because I thought it was pretty cool. Plus, I have a uh, an espresso machine. I got it with one of the pandemic stimulus monies. <laughs> um, it's not top of the line or anything, but it, it serves its purpose. And I've run out of coffee because the coffee I did have uh, expired. So I do need new coffee for it. So <laughs> so we'll see uh, what kind of goodies I got from Don Francisco. Uh, if my scream knife will uh, cooperate. Oh, there's packing peanuts like it's a Severin. <laughs> like it's a Severin package. Alright. Let's see what you did there. Okay. So I've got a bunch of packing peanuts, as you can already see, in here. Uh, Carl's gonna have a, a a hoot of a time with that. So let's just start pulling things out one by one as I reach them. So, oh, this looks like it's actually a big, oh, it might just be one big thing all um, packaged together in here as a little, I think it is actually. Oh, yeah, it's in this big uh, thingy mabob here. So let me take that out and let me just make sure there's nothing else hidden here in the ye oldie packing peanuts. Nope, it just looks like it's uh, it's all in the plastic thingy. So, it truly is a gift package then. So let's see what we got here. Some mugs in there too, all right. So this is what everything looks like. It's a nice, handsome little package here, a nice little handsome gift set. Oh, there's some stuff in there too that's clinging, clagging around. So actually, I'm going to take my knife out again after I just put it away uh, so I can pull all of these things out, you know, one by one and see, you know, what these things are. So, la la la, la da dee dee dee. Oh god, I can smell the coffee as soon as I open the plastic. It's, uh, it has a strong coffee smell. Okay, so first off. There are these two plastic uh, measuring things for, you know, portioning out uh, ground coffee. These are plastic. Uh, then the two normal ceramic mugs that just say Don Francisco's Coffee uh, were here. So there's two of them. They're good sized mugs. They're a little bit bigger than like the average uh, coffee mug. Uh, so these will, go. These will uh, be put to use once uh, the weather gets colder. Uh, let's see. Um, there's some, uh, looks like some K-cup pods. I don't have a Keurig, so I can't use these unless I decide to buy a Keurig, which I probably won't. Uh, but this was Don Francisco's Family Reserve 100% Columbia Supremo. Sweet floral aroma and whiny, note, whiny notes. Whiny, like wine, not me. <laughs> Medium roast. Uh, so these are pods. So yeah, I don't have a Keurig for this, um, but... There might be a Keurig uh, actually at work that I have, so I might be able to drink it there now that I think about it. Uh, but there's actually two of those that are K-Cups. One was that one, and then the other one is a Dark Roast Double French. Intense aroma and rich flavor, our deepest, darkest roast. Uh, so that is also K-Cups right there, so Don Francisco. Uh, but then here is the, the coffee I can use in my machine. So this is a vanilla nut medium roast, 100% Arabica. 
So this I can use because this will work in my espresso machine. Plus I like, um, I like vanilla coffee, so it calls it an indulgent coffee with a nutty aroma and hints of vanilla flavor. So we'll see how that is. I've had some other like cheaper vanilla nut coffees that don't taste as good. Um, Target brand, I'm looking in your direction. Uh, but I, I would like to check this out. Oh, it's, it's kosher apparently too. It also is kosher. Um, is, is there a non-kosher coffee? I don't know enough about uh, Jewish dietary laws about that. Um, but yeah, so this is a medium roast. It's a vanilla. This, this I'm looking forward to. I do like a, a good vanilla flavored coffee. And then uh, the last thing here, this is whole bean, so I'll have to, ground the, I'll have to grind this myself to use. Uh, but this is whole bean Kona blend. 100% uh, Kona coffee blended with premium Arabica beans, also a medium roast. So, yeah, I'll have to grind this myself, but otherwise, and it's good till 2024, so I have a little bit to try it. Uh, this looks like it's just sort of the the general. I, I don't know, I'm not enough of a coffee snob to know the difference between Kona coffee and, and non-Kona coffee. Uh, but this would be interesting to try. So, the, probably the vanilla is the one I'm most looking forward to. Uh, and then this, because I, I don't actually have a coffee grinder, so I just got to get a coffee grinder, which I'm sure I can easily acquire. Um, the K-Cups I can't quite use because I don't have a Keurig at home, but again, I, I do think my office break room has a Keurig, so I could bring them in and, and get it there. Uh, and then there's just this this nice little like wicker thing with the, the straw and everything, so maybe I'll, I'll, I might repurpose this for something else. Um, not sure what, but I can I can probably use it because it's just kind of a nice little tray there. Um, but I want to thank uh, Josh from Movie Timelines for sending this uh, this uh, gift or this prize for the horror movie trivia that I won. Um, it's very nice because I mean he could have just done the trivia for fun; he didn't have to offer a prize or anything. Um, so and I'm just looking forward to, to trying some coffee. Plus. Regardless of if I even like the coffee or not, I will make use of the little scoops and the mugs at the very least. So that will be cool. So yeah, so if um, he, I don't think he does it every month, but sometimes he'll he'll do it like once a month or whatever on various nights. So if you uh, you should follow the movie timelines channel because I do like the work he does. Basically, the the conceit of his channel is that he views series of movies with like a lot of sequels and everything, and, and tries to suss out when they take place and judge how much continuity there is between installments or lack thereof. But it's a very entertaining channel, and I, I really enjoy it. So you should definitely check out uh, Josh's movie timelines channel. Uh, but if he has another trivia contest, and you know as much about horror as myself and Bryce Coaster and some of the other people who were racking up uh, a lot of those points during that contest, you should um, subscribe to him and then when he has the, the next one, he usually announces it in his community bulletins like a day or two before anyway. Uh, but you, you might win something cool from, from him as well. So thank you Josh for Movie Timelines and thank you all for watching. Like, share, subscribe, do all the fun stuff. Uh, I've been going through a hard time lately and I could definitely use your support. So thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good day.